Hello and welcome. This video will demonstrate an IPsec configuration between a VNS3 controller and a Cisco Meraki that allows for WAN failover on the Meraki side of the connection. Here you can see a network diagram before we jump in. This configuration will require two IPsec endpoints be defined in VNS3. If your controller is licensed for only one, or if your endpoint limit has been met, you will need to contact Cohesive Networks to request a license upgrade. Let's begin by watching a manual failover take place. Here we see the VNS3 status page. In this example, we will be using the VNS3 overlay subnet and the Meraki's local LAN subnet. We currently see that the tunnel corresponding to the Meraki's primary WAN connection is connected, while the tunnel corresponding to the Meraki's backup WAN is not. After the failover, these states will swap. We will now begin the failover by navigating to the traffic shaping page of the Meraki console. Here we can select our primary uplink. I will select WAN2 from the dropdown and save the changes. The failover process may take anywhere from 10 seconds to 6 minutes. Manual failovers are generally faster. Note that all failovers must be initiated by the Meraki. We now see that the failover is complete and the tunnel corresponding to the backup WAN has negotiated. Let's walk through the steps required to achieve this configuration. I'll be starting with an initialized VNS3 controller with no other endpoints or use case specific configurations. We will first define our endpoints and tunnels in VNS3, then we will configure a non-Meraki IPsec peer from the Meraki console. Navigate to the VNS3 IPsec page and select Define New Remote Endpoint. Enter a name for the primary connection, enter the public IP address of the Meraki's primary WAN, enable net traversal, enter your pre-shared key, and then enter either the local WAN IP of the Meraki if it is behind another device providing NAT, or the public IP again if not. In the extra configuration parameters box, enter the following. Click the Create button to save the remote endpoint. You will now be brought back to the IPsec page. Click New Tunnel under the endpoint you just created. Enter the subnet that you will be sharing with the Meraki and the subnet that the Meraki will share with you. You may also enter a description for the tunnel if you wish. If you wish the connection to stay up during periods of no traffic, Enter a pingable IP from the Meraki subnet and an interval. Click the Create button. Follow these steps again for the Meraki's backup WAN connection. Be sure to use the same parameters with the exception of the public IP, peer ID, and any names or descriptions. This concludes the configuration on the VNS3 side. We will now configure the Meraki. Navigate to the site-to-site -site VPN page in the Meraki console. Ensure that type is set to hub and that net traversal is set to automatic. Under non-Meraki VPN peers, select add a peer. Enter a name for the connection. Enter the VNS3 public IP. Enter the remote subnet to be used and the pre-shared secret. Select default under IPsec policies and define your encryption scheme. Click update and then click save. In our testing, a reboot of the Meraki was necessary. Following the reboot, the primary tunnel should negotiate. This concludes our guide on setting up an IPsec connection from VNS3 to a Meraki with WAN failover. If you have any questions or require assistance with your setup, do not hesitate to contact our support team. 
Thank you for watching.